Hello everyone, this is Blind Man Walking 2 and I want to welcome you to another edition of This Week in Disability News. Um, this week's topic uh, concerns Coach Jerry Kill of uh, the University of Minnesota. As some of you may know, uh, he had a seizure on the field on September 14th against Western Illinois. Um, thankfully he was okay and the Golden Gophers prevailed in that game but apparently there was a lot of uproar um, about his continual seizure activity and I wanted to discuss this with you further today um, and this is information referenced in an article by Greg Couch um, on September 20th 2013 on uh, Fox Sports website and um, I want to lead off with, if I can do this very well, I'm reading from my iPad, so it's kind of tough. But Mr. Couch goes on to describe what the, what the issue at hand is. He says, prejudice is about ignorance and usually fear of the unknown. Discomfort of the image of University of Minnesota, uh, Coach Jerry Kill, on the ground limbs and head jerking around while he suffers another seizure epileptic seizure excuse me makes us feel uncomfortable just admit it it's actually a starting point to understanding okay that uh, is so true uh, mr. couch and I want to thank you for this article um, um, he goes on to describe that <clears throat> and he further quotes just admit it it's actually a starting point to understanding uh, in this article he references a, a comment made by uh, a reporter for the Minnesota State Star Tribune, which says that um, uh, he says that people who pay good money, this is a paraphrase, shouldn't be rewarded with the sight of a middle aged man writhing on the ground. Uh, and apparently, because of the flack, the year the paper later apologized. And according to Mr. Couch, it was too late. Um, I would agree with Mr. Couch. Um, just because apparently this represents the attitudes of many people who look at a situation of a person with a disability. And if you look at the EOC guidelines on the EOC website, you will see that disability um, is related to um, any condition that uh, causes uh, an impact upon, and this is once again a, a paraphrase, uh, an individual's ability to perform work. Um, you can look at the exact guidelines of EOC and information about ADA at your, at your leisure. Uh, this is just not that kind of video I'm making today. Um, but <clears throat> Um, the issue here is that the editor of the Minnesota Star Tribune is trying to do damage control because apparently um, it encountered some resistance and public flack over the comments that the paper made. And unfortunately, these are the attitudes which are out there and they impact those of us with disabilities no matter how successful they may be. Now, if you look at Coach Jerry Kill's record and his coaching career, career, you will see that he has been very successful at every university he has been a part of. Uh, but still, it doesn't matter because he makes people uncomfortable. And the truth about this that Mr. Couch, I, I believe, didn't put in his article is that it is fear 
of the possibility that people who make these comments may actually suffer or become disabled uh, in a way that they feel uncomfortable. For example, people may look at Jerry Kill and, and think that, ooh, that makes me uncomfortable because what if I become uh, epileptic and I have seizures? I don't want to do that. That scares me. So I don't want to see another person who has a seizure because that makes me uncomfortable. Um, and this is the attitudes that persist and, and create issues for people with disabilities, uh, such as Coach Kill and the rest of us. Um, it doesn't matter. Maybe, you know, these uh, Minnesota Star Tribune will be happy if Minnesota goes undefeated this year. Maybe the comments will go away, no matter how many seizures uh, Coach Kill has. I, I, I wonder. Sometimes success is a mitigating factor on attitudes. We'll see. But I want everybody who, who looks at this video and who is a fan of Coach Kill, as I am, um, will extrapolate this situation to other less famous people with disabilities and realize that they are out there um, just trying to make it through life and do the best that they can. And they don't want your fear. They don't want your pity. They want your understanding, and they want the opportunities that you may afford them as any other person with or without a disability. Um, since this article was uh, published by Mr. Couch, uh, a very good article, and I implore you all who care about disabilities, uh, read this. Uh, Minnesota uh, won another game. So they are currently 4-0, and as I... Uh, perform this video and I wish Minnesota and Coach Kill every success this season. Um, if you have any comments concerning this video or questions um, feel free to uh, contact me on the website and I welcome all constructive comments. This is Blind Man Walking 2 saying to everyone I'm gonna keep walking although I'm sitting for this video, and you keep walking too. And thank you so much.